What's up, this is Ben from Wad Prep, and if you have issues stringing together your kipping pull-ups, then this video is for you. So today we're gonna talk about the number one mistake I see people making when it comes to stringing together multiple kipping pull-ups. Most people, they forget to do the most crucial thing, and that is push away at the top. So when you're doing kipping pull-ups, you have to remember that once you get to the top, once you get your chin above the bar, the movement is not over. You have to make sure you get your chin above the bar and then immediately you push away to gather yourself back into your next kip. If you watch this video, you'll see that when I get to the top, if I just drop straight down, you're not gaining any momentum into your next rep. So you're literally dead at the bottom of each rep. You'll get your chin above the bar, you're all excited, and then you drop straight to the bottom of, uh, of your dead hang. That is the kiss of death when it comes to stringing together multiple kipping pull-ups. Instead, if you look at people who know how to kip very well, when they get to the top, as soon as they get that chin above the bar, the first thing they do is push away, regain their momentum back into their kip. And you'll see in this video, when I start pushing away at the top, I'm able to gather myself and get a nice, strong, hollow body position, a nice, strong, extended body position, and I'm able to string together multiple reps uh, with little to no fatigue. I can promise you that if you take this tip and you start learning to push away at the top of your kipping pull-ups, you will improve your reps, you'll improve your pull-ups tremendously. If you want more videos like this, make sure you go to www.wadprep.com and uh, download that free ebook that I made, and uh, it's gonna teach you how to take your training to the next level.